Some of the many still to be answered questions regarding the October 1st shooting on the strip that left 58 people dead and injured more than 500 others. What was the gunman's motive? When did the gunman start planning his massacre? Where did the gunman store all of the weapons before the shooting? Why did the gunman stop shooting? Considering the gunman killed himself, why are investigators withholding so much information about the case? Do they believe he had accomplices? What was the gunman planning to do with the explosives found in his car? What evidence shows he might have planned to escape? What exactly exactly were the 23 guns found in the hotel suite? How many were equipped with bump stocks? How many had been fired? How many jammed? How many rounds did he fire? What else was recovered from the gunman's hotel room and his homes in Mesquite and Reno? When did authorities determine the hard drive from the gunman's laptop was missing? Which law enforcement agency is in charge of what parts of the investigation? What, if anything, did Mary Lou Danley, the gunman's girlfriend, know before the shooting? Where is she now? And is she still a person of interest? Why did INT Mandalay Bay notice the gunman's hidden cameras, drilling into walls, and the bar door did alarms go off when the gunman broke the windows in his suite. What kind of surveillance does Mandalay Bay have in its hotel hallways? Is there any indication that the gunman was considering acts of violence during visits to Ogden during Life is Beautiful or the Blackstone in Chicago during the Lollapalooza Festival? Did Mandalay Bay have any armed security guards in the resort when the shooting started? Who took the photos of the dead gunman and his room after the shooting? Where does the investigation into this leak stand? MGM Resorts is providing room and board for Mandalay Bay security guard Jesus Campos. Is it also taking care of building engineer Stephen Chuck? Did hotel staff notice anything out of the ordinary about the gunman's behavior in the days leading up to the shooting? Were red flags ignored? How long was the Do Not Disturb sign posted on his room? Did housekeeping or room service ever visit the room? What does Mandalay Bay surveillance footage show about the gunman's movements and activities in the days before the shooting? How many Mandalay Bay employees knew of the gunman's presence in the hotel? How many interacted with him before he started shooting? How many VIP hosts did the gunman, who was a slot high roller, have on the strip? Is there any evidence to indicate the gunman was frustrated with his comps? Did he change his gambling habits for this trip and did his hosts notice? Was the gunman's girlfriend aware that he used her comps to obtain his suite? How many times did the gunman leave the Mandalay Bay property during his hotel stay? Did Mandalay Bay and other MGM properties have more guards stationed before the financial crisis and near bankruptcy? What have law enforcement officials learned about the gunman's relationships with his three brothers? Have they interviewed his mother? How and where did the gunman learn to shoot? How many guards does Mandalay Bay normally have on duty compared with other strip hotels of a similar size? Why did a doctor prescribe diazepam to the gunman? What kind of influence did his father's criminal exploits have on the gunman's upbringing? Does the gunman's family have a documented history of mental illness?